Welcome to the ITU studio in Geneva. I'm very pleased to be joined on the occasion of GSR 2018 by Jane Stankovich, who is the uh, Global Executive Director for Communications Policy for the Intel Corporation. Jane, thanks for joining us in the studio today. Thanks for the opportunity. Now, I'd like to start off by uh, talking about your, your sponsorship of this event, uh, very much uh, on uh, 5G. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about why, why you think 5G is important. Well, 5G really offers the possibility of transforming our lives. So just like the, the cell phone and smartphone revolution changed with 4G, and we have all these innovations that have happened that really enrich the lives of humans everywhere, uh, what we see now with 5G is the possibility of transforming that type of innovation across a wide variety of industries as well. So sort of taking what we've already done, but allowing that innov innovation to really flourish. And in terms of uh, this event itself, why, why is uh, this event important to the Intel Corporation? Well, obviously there are quite a few uh, very senior executives here from all around the world, and uh, countries really want to know what, what's coming up and, and really discuss some of the more important issues around how to enable that and what issues to take into account. And we want to be part of that dialogue. We're obviously a leader from the technology perspective. Uh, we're really at the core of the 5G re revolution and we want to be part of the discussion around the policies around it as well. We've heard, heard a lot of discussions here. We've heard a lot of, uh, we've seen a, a lot of uh, perhaps uh, hesitancy and even fear perhaps of the, the new future, the way that, uh, that things are going to evolve. How do you see it? Uh, I actually think that the innovation will give us an opportunity to really benefit society. Um, things that we could do in terms of healthcare, but also industry, uh, to take care of some of the more mundane tasks, but also some of the more dangerous tasks. So really r enabling this type of innovation and benefit for people. So I, I think that with the right structure in place, we can really get those benefits to our society. What about the conversations that you've been hearing here at the event? What's, what's, have there been any key takeaways for you here? I think there is a lot of, uh, a lot of questions going on around 5G and how to enable it, but uh, also what needs to be done and what does that bring to us. And, and those are the conversations that I think need to happen so regulators and industry can figure out a way forward. For some countries, of course, 5G is a, a fair distance away if in, in terms of time. How uh, should they best be preparing for it, do you think? Uh, actually, I think 5G is coming faster than people think. Um, normally, it, there's quite a lag time between the, the initial I ideas until we actually see deployments. Here we see that on a really abbreviated time scale with commercial deployments starting as early as this year, um, which is incredibly fast when you consider when we were first talking about even considering millimeter wave. And I think what we're seeing now is a lot of other countries starting to say, wait, we, wanna, we want these benefits too. So um, it will take place over a different time scale, but uh, depending on a country's priorities. But I do think it's coming faster than, than anyone, I including myself, envisioned. And for the consumer, what's the 5G future going to look like, do you think? Well, I think it's not just the consumer. I think that's the point, right? It's, it's the cons for consumers, uh, it could be everything from fixed wireless access to enhanced mobile broadband, and a lot of new usage scenarios that we had not considered. Um, but also, because there's this benefit for be businesses as well, things that we also take advantage of, whether it's you know healthcare, et cetera, education, those things are obviously still to the consumer, but not necessarily the consumer we ch typically think of from a, a tel telecommunications perspective, but just a consumer as a part of our society. And Intel Corp, what's the, what does the landscape look like for you then? Uh, well, we're very excited about where, where we are, both from the compute side and the connectivity side, and we see this as uh, being a leader and an, uh, an engine for this digital transformation. Jane Stankovic, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. And uh, do check out our other videos on the ITU YouTube channel and our podcasts on the ITU SoundCloud channel too. Thank you.